congratulations to those of you who have guessed the problem. But just to recap, we had a 72-year-old Caucasian female who had had a prior transcatheter aortic valve implant who had presented to UT Southwestern with symptoms of recurrent aortic stenosis and heart failure and an echo that confirmed that she had severe aortic stenosis. And so the answer to the, the question or, the, or the, this lady's diagnosis was that she had an embolized TAVR valve that was in the LVOT. This is her native aortic valve uh, with a lot of calcification in it. But look at the valve, it's actually below the plane of the aortic valve. So the valve is actually the, the transcatheter valve that was implanted. It looks like it has embolized into the LVOT. We took her to the cath lab and we decided to confirm this on angiography. And, and here is the, the TAVR valve that is completely embolized, just hanging free in, in the LVOT at this point. The interesting thing was that this had embolized three years after the surgery, not immediately after implant, as has typically been described. And also in speaking with multiple colleagues across the country, this was uh, one of the first times that an event like this had happened. And so we struggled a lot about, you know, the best way to treat this. Um, she was not an operative candidate at all. And so we had to plan uh, for a transcatheter approach and we implanted another valve inside this valve that actually took care of both the problems. And so thankfully she did really well with the procedure. So in summary, there was a very challenging case, both from a diagnostic standpoint, as well as a management standpoint. But, you know, thanks to the wealth of expertise that we have um, in our structural team here, this, this, this case ended well and uh, you know, the patient had a successful outcome.